Hi, my name is Leah Burke and I am going to give you a little bit of an introduction to what Nomia is and what it has to offer. Currently, I am at their website www.nomia.com. Nomia is a um, it's a video sharing technology in which a teacher can record videos, upload videos um, of all different types of instructional nature and utilize them in his or her classroom. Um, some of the potential I think Nomia has is definitely it is um, can be a vehicle for the flipped classroom model, but I also think it has potential for students needing extra extension or intervention um, for students that might be absent from school for a significant amount of time. They could receive instruction um, via video and also for application in your classroom. Um, for example, I currently teach elementary school, and so if I were utilizing Nomia, I might put one group on the computers and have them watch a video and complete an activity while I was working individually with another group. So I think there's a lot of um, potential for Nomia to be used in different ways, and there's certainly more types of um, video software out there in which a teacher can use to um, create this kind of atmosphere within their classroom. So the first thing I want to introduce is the two big sections available on the website. They have um, use video with your students and then explore over 9,000 lessons. And currently I am logged in as myself um, and I am able to add a lesson. Um, I can look at information for teachers. I can go right into my Nomia, um, which is kind of interesting because within that section you're able to see all of your own personal settings in terms of um, where you work and your email and what grade levels and subjects you teach. Um, it also allows you to have options in terms of how you're going to add lessons to Nomia. There's three big ways you can do that um, and I will show you that momentarily. So first I'm going to go into the free tools for teachers, which is the same thing as the free teacher section at the top. And as I scroll down, um, I can see that they have um, more information about the Numia Teach iPad app. And I have a short video that um, you can also watch about that. They have information about the home assignment tool, which is coming. It's not here yet. Um, the Video Revolution Project, free training, the Video Lesson Library, and how to on creating videos. So as I scroll down, the first section is the Numia Teach iPad app, and it is a very cool app for um, the iPad, which if you watch the other video, you can see some of the features it has to offer and um, what it looks like. You can also definitely get um, tutorial and support directly from their website here as well. The home assignment tool is not available yet, but I think it will definitely take Nomia to another level because teachers will be able to manage what their students are doing, what they would like their students to do um, in terms of assignments, and they can also track that. I think probably one of the hardest things um, that comes to mind, at least for me at the elementary level, is when you try the flipped classroom model, many of my students um, rely heavily on their parents to check over their homework or get them started on homework. And so making sure that students are actually watching the videos so that they come prepared the next day would be a challenge. And this would be one way teachers could manage that. The Video Revolution Project is um, a pretty cool aspect of the website in which they've taken some hands-on feedback from teachers all over on how they utilize video to teach their students and how it impacts improvement, um, things that they have learned, both positive and negative, and they've posted videos online to um, get share their ideas and thoughts on this process. The free training for teachers, um, there are two ways you could do free training. If you happen to live in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area, you can go on site with multiple teachers and get the training. However, that's really not feasible for us. So you can email them at teachers at nomia.com and you can schedule um, a free training via the web. They also have some other resources available, um, including tutorial lessons as well. The video lesson library, I'm going to go through that in a little bit more detail because it's really the big portion of why you would use Nomia and what it has to offer. 
Um, there are thousands of videos on there and you can also create your own videos so you definitely don't have to use something already made you can come up with your own the video creation how-to guide um, gives a little bit more information on how you can create videos there are three big ways teachers can upload videos the first is via the app the app um, and that creates it in the Nomia Teach software and um, uploads it directly from the app to the Nomia website. Your second option is to upload your own personal video and you can upload um, MPEG-4 videos or um, QuickTime videos. There's not that many options, um, but there's definitely a sum in terms of uploading personal videos. And you can certainly convert um, with all the different converters available if you need to do that as well. The last option is you can actually upload videos directly from YouTube, Prezi, or v Vimeo. And um, that would be another useful way, especially if you're more familiar with utilizing one of those sites, um, you can easily drop them in there. So that's a little bit about the Tools for Teachers section. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back into the home page and this time I'm going to visit the 9000 lesson library. So when you first come into the library, um, they usually will have some featured lessons and teachers up here. And so it'll show some of the most viewed lessons by um, other teachers. And then obviously today, very applicable President's Day, um, you can find resources for that. And as I scroll down, I can see the big topics covered under Nomia, and I can click on each one of these and get all the um, videos pertaining to this topic. So under English, we've have, we have definitely American literature, grammar, world literature, and writing skills. And as I scroll over them, I can see exactly how many lessons and how many teachers have contributed to that topic. As an elementary teacher, one of the biggest topics that I would utilize would be the de developmental math section. Um, which is definitely your low-level math or elementary <laughs> elementary level math. Um, so as you as I scroll down, you can see many different topics are offered. Um, many of them are more applicable to high school and collegiate level versus um, your younger students. However, you can definitely create your own videos um, for use with whatever age group you work with. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search the library. And you search it, um, what comes up is when you create a video, you are responsible for tagging it um, with different terms. And that is when I search, it searches for those tags and it will bring up videos that have that, those tags on it. So the first thing I'm going to search for is cause and effect. It's a skill I've been working on with my fourth graders. Um, and as I pull up cause and effect, I can see all the different subjects that it is available underneath and um, what categories. So this video is cause effect tagged under English American Literature. We have under the California Standard Test, um, under the GMAT, the SAT Math, Mandarin Chinese. So as I'm looking real quick at these, I'm going to go ahead and click search just to see, but I don't think there's probably going to be anything um, that will be something I necessarily want. And I can look quickly at the information um, in the title of the video. I can see how long the video is down here in the corner. The teacher, and then if I click on more info, I can see more details specifically about the video. So the teacher's written a little caption here. Um, you can see when it was uploaded, um, some editor's notes and topics covered. And I can also see some of the different tags the teacher has placed on it. Um, other videos the teacher has created and then you can also share the link or embed the HTML code which the embed would be very um, important if you would like to just place it directly on your web page especially if you don't want your students trying to learn how to know, navigate Nomia um, depending on their age level. So I did not find a whole lot available on cause and effect. So I'm going to search for addition, something I know definitely applies to the elementary level. Okay, I currently have the addition section up. And as I scroll through it, I can see this first video was um, underneath the English American literature section. So that's not what I want. 
So I'm going to keep scrolling down looking for the math section. Then I come to the math section and I see algebra, algebra 2 and trigonometry, calculus, and finally developmental math. Developmental math is definitely where I want to be. And I can really quickly read the um, titles underneath the videos to see that adding whole numbers and applications probably would be something I might want to use. If I'm very interested in the topic of developmental math, at this point I can even click on that and see all the different topics tagged underneath developmental math, um, which would be helpful if I'm looking for other videos related to topics I might teach, specifically multiplication, um, decimals, Simplifying fractions, fractions, whole numbers, greater than and less than, all those would go right with what I need to do with my students. I can also scroll down and see featured teachers. Um, so these are teachers who frequently post to the developmental math section. Um, a couple of the videos that I've viewed have been by this teacher here. Um, and this is from actually from the famed Khan Academy, which is another great resource as well. And then I can scroll down and I can browse all the lessons available in the developmental math section. So I'm going to scroll back up um, and then just return to the home page and leave you with this. Um, Nomia has a lot to offer. I think it's a still a growing web page, which isn't as developed as it could be, but they're definitely adding things to it. Um, I think it has a lot of use for teachers in um, the upper elementary and higher levels to try to use video in different ways. And I really enjoyed the app. I felt that their app was very well organized, easy to use, easy to record with, um, and it was really easy to publish my video directly to um, their website. So I hope I, I hope you check out Nomia and see what it has to offer and um, good luck with all your use of technology.